Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do a haul for you guys. And this is me hauling almost everything that I got from February or in the month of February. And I got a, quite a few things. Some of them were like free gifts, some of them were things I want to try out personally. Other things were things that I got like from my mom gave me something. Another thing I got from a really good sale. Stuff like that. So it's a bunch of stuff that I want to try out that I haven't yet tried or things that I know I like and I just got extra of. So let's get right into that. But first, I want to mention the fact that I know I haven't been on here. I've been a little bit MIA the last week or two weeks. And that's because this weather, I've really realized this, you know, this winter and this new year that I get really bad seasonal depression. So not just like with the season change, but like when I feel like the weather is just, you know, it's not bright, there's no sunshine, there's, you know, it's cold, I can't go for a walk, and I'm just like stuck inside. I feel like I'm stuck in a rut, and I hate that feeling. So I've really been feeling it the last week and a half, and then this past Sunday I was able to go for a nice long walk. I went for a 5K walk with my dog, and then later on in the night I went for a 5K run, just because I don't know I just needed to be outside and I was feeling like I needed to be outside and yeah so I'm feeling like I'm starting to get out of my little rut I was in because while I was in a rut I was feeling so un uninspired about everything beauty related um, saving related and buying related I didn't even want to go shop online I didn't want to watch my regular you know YouTube videos and YouTube people that I always watch I was just kind of watching Netflix and just vegging out and I wasn't even doing laundry it wasn't cleaning I was just I don't know I was just really out of it but now today I'm really feeling like I've got this energy about me and I'm feeling so much better so if any of you guys get that, let me know down in the comments below if you kind of get that seasonal depression and seasonal just ickiness because I feel like I'm the only one at this point because my husband hasn't even been feeling it and I've just been really, I don't know, out of it lately. But anyways, let's get into the haul. I figured I would start my two week off by doing a quick little haul. I just, I love getting new things and I'm so excited to try some of these things. I haven't even taken them out of the packages because I really wanted to show you guys first. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so the first thing I got was actually from Costco and I saw these. These are the Crabtree and Evelyn um, hand creams, I think they are. Let me see. Crabtree and Evelyn hand therapy creams and you get six different scents or flavors or however you want to call it. We get rose water, iris, Himalayan blue, lily, Somerset meadow, and English honey and peach blossom. And I've been going through my hand creams pretty quickly now that I'm doing these sample project pans and I just wanted to try a few more and these will be perfect size to fit in my pocket at work at the hospital. So I was really, really excited to try these. And in each of them comes 25 grams or 0.9 ounces each, which is almost a full ounce for each of these. So, and I've heard that these are really, really nice. I'm really excited to try those out. I will let you guys know how I feel about those. So one little thing that I got as a free sample with purchase was the Ralph Lauren Romance Collection, the little mini size sample I guess fragrance samples, perfume samples, and there's three different ones here and it came in a bag. This bag's actually really nice. It'll be good for travel. I don't really need another one, so I'm just gonna kind of put it to the side, but yeah. So I got the Ralph Lauren Romance, Ralph Lauren Tender Romance, and Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. So I'm just gonna open one of these and show you guys what it looks like. So it's, oh my God, it's so freaking cute. How cute is that? Seriously? That's actually a really fair size bottle. Like I am not disappointed with that size bottle. Um, oh man, it's the dabber kind, which is not my favorite. This one smells really nice. Um, I'm really excited to try these out as well. I've been on a perfume kick lately. I actually, I'm really bad. I just ordered three full size perfumes today. I don't know, I've been on a kick and I just can't stop myself. So there's that. Yeah. So the next thing I got is the Rock 
daily resurfacing discs and these are clinically shown to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles gentle enough for everyday use my mom actually picked these up for me because i had her try um a wrinkle serum and moisturizer and she picked these up for me because she said that she likes them but they're not her favorite but this is something that she's looking for but anyways so she was looking for something like this so she said if i come across anything similar that works better let her know but she just wanted me to try these out so i haven't yet opened them um i don't have a need for them yet because i am working on something else but when i'm ready to use them i am definitely going to try it and the next thing I had to get, I just, I couldn't not get it. I got the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I have not yet tried it. It's like so beautiful, the packaging. I just can't get over it. I ended up getting the shade Light Neutral. And I'm kind of sad I did because now that I have a tan, like look at the color difference. There is no way. And it's super orange too, actually. So I'm kind of you know, unsure. I haven't tried it on my face yet. I've only swatched it on my hand, but it's very, very orange toned for me. I'm not sure how it's going to look. I kind of think I got the wrong undertone or maybe they just don't have the correct tone for me, but I am going to try it before I go ahead and return it. I just, I really think it's the wrong color for me to be totally honest. So I'm not as excited about it as I was when I first got it, but I did order it online. So there's that. And then I also got the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I wanted a tinted moisturizer because I love the fact that it has SPF in it. This has 20 SPF in it. And this is in the shade Light Medium, which I actually think is the correct shade for me. I haven't yet opened it and tested it, but I am going to very soon. I tend to wear my BB creams as foundations because they just work better for me and I, you guys know I don't really like liquid foundations very much. I just really wanted to try this and give a review on it. But like I said, I think it's the wrong shade. So I'm going to have to pick up the correct shade for that one. So in February, on February 1st to be exact, was mine and my husband's six-year anniversary. And he had seen me look at this a million times online and in different stores. And this is the Coach um, Ude Perfume. And I really love this scent. And he was like, you know what? Go ahead, pick it up. It's our anniversary. We didn't get anything for each other. So I was so excited. Look at how beautiful this bottle is. Like, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. I love this scent. It smells so good. Oh, I have a little teeny tiny sample that I've been using. And I literally, I love this scent. It is the most fantastic scent ever, and I just can't get over it. So I'm really excited that I have it, but I'm not going to open it and use it until my little teeny tiny sampler is gone, because that's going to go bad if I don't use it, because I have the full size, so why do I need that one anymore? I ended up getting the Eva NYC Zero Gravity Volume Powder. So this is supposed to be like a dry shampoo, but it's in a powder form, and oh my god, can't get it open and considering the fact that I don't really typically wear dry or use dry shampoos very often I really wanted to try this and see if this would be any good for me but anyways the texture is actually really really nice and not like drying like hydrating drying I don't know I'm gonna have to try that out let me know if you guys want to hear anything more about this but yeah I know this came in like an ipsy bag at some point at some time but I'm not really sure it says it has vitamin b5 and aloe vera in it and it adds volumes volume creates texture and increases fullness so I'm definitely gonna give that a go I might give it a go tomorrow I think I'm gonna curl my hair tomorrow the texture on my hand is really weird now though I don't know we'll see so I picked up a few things from Essence because I really want to do a brand review. I have a lot of different Essence products that I either like or dislike or have, you know, some kind of opinion formed on them. But I had a few products that I had never tried and I really wanted to test out a few more products from them. So I picked up the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray and I think this was only like six bucks. So I wanted to try this out. Let's see the test. Let's see the 
actually a really really good spray it's a little bit of a wet spray which I actually I actually go for more often than like the really dry like non mist mist the ones that say that they're misting but really you can't feel anything on your face just saying but I'd rather have that one which is a little bit wetter because my skin tends to be really really dry and then another new thing I got from Essence, I don't think this is new by any means, but it's new to me. It is the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer, and it's for a healthy glow, and, and it has a pore minimizing effect. And it says it's with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. Hmm. I'm really curious to try this out as well. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but... It is sealed, which I appreciate. You guys know that I like sealed products. So I'm gonna give that one a go. And then also, because I'm super extra and I couldn't stop myself, Essence was, Essence had a buy one, get one, like half off deal going on. So of course I had to get a whole bunch of nail polishes. So I got a bunch of different like summery colors cause I just couldn't stop. So I got this very light pink peachy color and this one is in the shade 24 Indian Summer. I really thought this one would be perfect for summer. I got this dark more like fuchsia color and this one's in the shade 47 Va Va Boom. I think that's such a cute name for that one. And then I got this really muted lavender gray color, and this is in the shade 81 So What. And then finally, I got this dark fuchsia. It's like a dark, like cranberry fuchsia color, and it's in the shade 77 Dreaming of Love. So I figured these would be really, really good for the summer. And since my project pans with my nail nail polishes in there are gonna be gone or done, the project pans are gonna be done by the summertime. I figured I would, you know, have some other shades to try out. These were only between 99 cents and 199, so I mean you can't go wrong. And not only that, but this formula is so good. I have a darker gray one. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I really, really like that. It stays on my nails. It doesn't chip right away. It it doesn't peel my nail like my nail part ends off like a lot of uh, nail polishes do unfortunately, but yeah, I got a bunch of those to try out some more shades from them And then because everybody cannot stop raving about this stupid setting spray. I had to get it Ridiculous. It is the Milani make it last setting spray. I Had to get this. I haven't tried it yet Everybody freaking talks about it and I feel like I'm out of the loop even though I have tons of setting sprays I'm using them up like crazy right now so I really wanted to get another one that I wanted to try out and that was the next one on my list so I got it then something else that I got was like buy one get two free or buy two get one free I can't remember but the brand Biobel was one of them and I got their, what is this called? My, Be My Diary of Beauty Secrets Facial Masks. And it has six different masks in there. So here is what that looks like. Let me see if I can get it out of here. So I like on the back, it has the produced date and it has the use by date. So the produced date was 5-18-2017, so last May, and it expires 5-17 of 2020. So I really appreciate that and I will keep these in this box just because I think the box is so cute. But furthermore, because it does have the expiration date, so it has the little story and it has the little book of the masks. So it has six of them in here. It has hashtag I woke up like this. And this one enhances skin's natural glow. So we'll see. This one is hashtag stay gorgeous, hydrates and nourishes. I have tried this one in the past. It wasn't my favorite. I think it broke me out, but I'm not sure. So I am willing to try it again. This one is the hashtag after party. And I've never tried this one before, but I've heard it smells amazing. This is hashtag beauty scoop. I, I haven't really heard too much on this one. This one's hashtag beauty secret, which I've heard people love this one. So I'm excited to try that. And this one is hashtag happy hour and it's with red wine and retinol. So I'm really excited to try that, especially because I am drinking my wine today. So maybe I'll do this one tonight. Let's see what it does. It says it helps to minimize signs of aging, which 
I mean, I'm only 26, so I don't think there's like a whole lot of aging. But after my makeup comes off, maybe there will be more signs of aging than I'm used to. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably going to try this one tonight and see if I like it. So anyways, I didn't only pick up one of these, I picked up three of them. I'm pretty sure it was buy one, get two free. I could be wrong, like I said, but I picked up three of these. So I plan on putting one of them in a giveaway and I plan on giving one of them to a girlfriend of mine. So I'm really excited about that. So the rest of everything else that I got for the month, I actually got from ColourPop on January 31st. So the day of their sale, I ended up picking up a whole bunch of stuff because it wasn't the sale day. It was the day that the Luxe lipsticks came out. So I picked up tons of these Luxe lipsticks and I've been putting them back in their packaging because I like the packaging. But I will tell you all the shades that I got and leave a thumbs up or a comment down below if you'd like me to do a review and swatches on these lipsticks. I plan on doing one, but... I don't know, just let me know if you'd like to see one because I'd love to do one. So all of these ColourPop items I purchased with my own money. These are all the lipsticks that I purchased. Oh my God. So I purchased Money Side Up, Friends, which is a dark brown, Gallop, which is a wine red, Humble Pie, which is like a baby pink or a Barbie pink, 27, which is a cranberry shade, Still Crazy, which I've been wearing like crazy. And that's like a mauve color. Unos Mas, and that one's more of like an orangey color. It doesn't show the same color as it is um, inside. Appy, which is a really light nude. Pinkies Up, which is a medium tone nude. Stone Fox, which is a light baby pink. Ghosted, which is kind of like a fuchsia-y color, but it looks different. Layover, which is the other one that I've been wearing like crazy. I can't stop wearing it. It's a darker mauve. Sitting Pretty, which is a purpley. And then Liquid Courage, which is more of a red, like a darker red. I really like that one too. So anyways, let me know if you guys want swatches on all of those. I will do lip swatches because I think they definitely look different on my lips than they do on my arm for swatches. But let me know if you guys want that because I will definitely do that. I, I loved doing my Buxom lip, lip swatches and I can't wait to do that one. So the first palette that I got, I got three palettes from them and I ended up getting this highlighter palette it's called in nude endo in nude endo and this one I haven't tried yet I haven't even swatched because I wanted to show you guys first so here is the palette here I plan on using it and giving a review on it I do like my other two highlighters like the single individual highlighters from ColourPop but um I don't know these are just different looking I don't I don't know, these are totally right up my alley and I like the fact that they're not super different in color, if that makes sense. Like there's not one that's so dark that, you know, even the darkest of skin can't use it because it's so dark, you know? And I like that the white one isn't even like a white white, it's like a pearly, pearlescent white. So like even if you have the lightest skin tone, it'll still look nice on you. I don't know. I haven't tested them, like I said, but that's just kind of my first impression of it. Then I got the palette Give It To Me Straight. I also have not touched or used this palette yet either. It's been in this box looking at me like, come and use me please. But here are the colors here and check out what they finally did. They put the names on the inside of the palette. ColourPop, congratulations, you just stepped up your game. I'm just saying, these pan sizes look smaller actually than the other ones in my opinion I don't know why they're probably not any smaller than the other ones but I appreciate that they put the names inside of the palette finally took them long enough like eight palettes long enough but I'm glad that they finally ended up doing them so I have this palette as well and the final palette that I picked up because it was on sale for Kathleen Lights is like favorite ones or whatever. ColourPop Semi-Precious palette. And here it is here. I haven't tried this one yet, but they all 
look beautiful. That red color is calling my name right now. I kind of have like a red look today and I kind of want to layer that one on just to see I'm doing it right now. Should I do it with my finger? Oh my god. Here, I'm going to layer it on. Sorry if I'm totally flicking you off. Oh my god, that is totally the color I was looking for today. Dang it. Yeah, that made a huge difference just now on my eye look. I had an Urban Decay color on there from my Vice palette that I've been trying to use. And I really like it, but it just wasn't giving me what I wanted. Okay, this is not going to be blended out at all. So I, my eyes probably look like shit now. But that was the color I was going for today. I'm just saying. That was what I needed. Okay, anyway, so... <laughs> I already know that that's going to be a fantastic palette, so I'm excited to use that some more and see where I can take my looks to with that one. But anyways, that is the bottom of my, oops, of my haul bin because I purchased way more than I needed to during the month of February. I haven't actually made any purchases yet in March, so I'm doing really, really well. But I am going to do a bob check-in here very shortly. I know I didn't do mine for February. I've been really slacking. Like I said, I've been really, really having a hard time getting back into the swing of things after coming back from my vacation in Florida. That really was such a nice time. And then coming back to like snow and like regular life of working and having responsibilities sucks. So I just have to get my life together and get back <laughs> straight. That was my kid laughing. And I have to get everything straight and straightened out in my life to keep myself going and keep myself motivated. So that is my plan. I really want to keep filming. I'm just enjoying this right now. And honestly, I was so excited to film that I didn't even know what video I was going to film when I sat in front of the camera, to be totally honest. So anyways, if you guys want any of those swatches or if you even want like nail swatches and I can show you the different colors, um, let me know and also like I said I plan on doing a whole brand review on Essence because I've been using everything from them trying to figure out if I love the brand or if it's just an okay brand. So let me know your opinions on those and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Yes, I am drinking wine again. <laughs>